How's it going everybody? My name is Lee and today I'm going to show you how to make a third party server. Now for those of you that don't know what a third party server is, uh, it is basically a server that isn't hosted with Minehut. So let's say if you had a server on MC Pro Hosting, uh, you would be able to connect it to Minehut and have it show up in the players list. Now this is great if you want to add custom plugins to your server or just need console access and things like that. Uh, it's also great if you're trying to build players. Um, Minehut is a fairly popular server, it ranges from about 500 to 700 players on at the time. I'm sure that's going to increase in the future. Uh, Minehut is always growing so uh, yeah if you go to minehut.com go to announcements and then go to third-party server Luke has made a pretty straightforward guide here step-by-step uh, -step how to connect your droplet and um, get it all connected with the player servers uh, but uh, today I'm actually going to show you how to do it on the video just to clear up any kind of confusion so to get started uh, just go up to resources and click download plugin I've already done this so I don't need to do it again and uh, yeah, so I'll meet you at my FTP and I'll show you the next steps to uh, getting your server connected. Okay, so once you have the uh, droplet-bucket.jar downloaded, uh, like any other Minecraft plugin, you have to drop it into your plugins folder, which is found in the main directory of your server. Uh, so all you gotta do is just drag it in there, restart your server, and you're good to go. So once, the, once you've done that, it will generate a folder named droplet, which will have a configuration YML inside. Uh, we're not going to quite go into that yet, just because there's kind of a bit of preparation we have to do before we get that connected. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So if you go back into the main directory of your Minecraft server, you'll see a server.properties file. You'll have to change your online mode to false. Uh, this is because we're connected with a Bungie, meaning that um, the proxy is actually the one that does all the authorization. Uh, you have to do this to get it connected, or it's just not going to connect. So go down to online dash mode equals, uh, and then by default it is actually set to true. Go ahead and change that to false, and then hit save and apply your changes. Once you've done that, go down to the spigot YML and just change bungee cord from false to true, and apply your changes. That's just making sure that it's detecting that it's a bungee server. And uh, the last thing we have to do is go to the bucket YML and change the throttle connection from negative, or excuse me, 4000, uh, which is the default, to negative one. Because actually the bungee cord, or the proxy, uh, is gonna be the one handling all the connections. So again, save and apply the changes. So once you've done all that, uh, and I've gotten it connected, go ahead and restart one more time and then open up your droplet configuration. Once you've done that, you will see a secret key here. Now, this secret key is the key that uh, basically defines your server on Minehunt, um, and we're about to go get that. So before we actually go to the server, uh, you want to add your IP. Now, I uh, have it exactly how I have it formatted here. Uh, you put your IP and then your IP address. It doesn't matter what port your IP is actually on uh, or your Minecraft is hosted on. Uh, the droplet will automatically detect that so you don't have to worry about it. So just put the IP without the port and you're good to go. So uh, let me hop on my Minecraft and I'll show you how to generate the key. All right, I have my Minecraft loaded up and I'm logged into Minehut. So the next thing you have to do is do slash server key and then regen and this will generate your secret key for your server as i said earlier ago this defines your key or defines your server within minehunt uh, that's pretty much the only thing we have to do right now in minehunt if you ever lose your key uh, you can just do slash server key and it'll tell you uh, and it also says at the bottom that you know it shows you how to regenerate it uh, but yeah so let's go back to the configuration and get the last steps all finished so once you've generated your key, uh, just go back into your droplet folder and go into the configuration and open that back up. And all you got to do is add your key in. So mine is D6AA9D. So that's my key. I already got my IP in there, so we are good to go. So go ahead and save, and we'll apply the changes to our FTP. And the last thing you have to do before uh, you get it connected is just go ahead and restart your server. So once you have it all restarted, uh, we should be good to go as far as getting it connected 
So let's go ahead and wait. I'll go ahead and fast forward the video uh, to when it's connected. All right, our server is fully loaded up. So all we have to do now is do slash join um, and then test server. And there we are, uh, connected to my server just fine. Uh, you can see in the console uh, that my username has, uh, has uh, connected. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all there is to getting your server connected to Mindhunt. Fairly easy. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Um, also, the Mindhunt forums, there's a lot of active users on there that are pretty knowledgeable. So go ahead and make a post on there if you're still having some issues. Um, some known issues uh, to make you aware of is when you have all these steps done and it's still not allowing you to connect, go ahead and try to rename your server again uh, so it can reestablish the connection. Uh, if it's still not working at that point, go ahead and redo the steps. Uh, this has been tested multiple times. Uh, right now, there's no other bugs to report. So if it's not working, uh, it's going to be user error. Keep that in mind. Uh, everything is pretty... Uh, polished so do keep that in mind anyways thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and uh, good luck on your server